around 600 jobs as part of its biggest shake-up in nearly 20 years. It's looking to save costs after failing to turn a profit last year. Failing ticket prices, uh, falling ticket prices rather, and increased competition from mainland China are being blamed for the losses. It was its first annual loss in eight years. Sarah Clark has more on the story from Hong Kong. The announcement by Cathay Pacific's new chief executive, Rupert Hogg, is the largest round of job cuts made by the airline in 20 years. Around 190 management jobs will go and 400 other staff will follow. Now, the jobs on the front line, that is the cabin crew and the pilots, their jobs are considered safe. Now, the airline business, that is Cathay Pacific and its regional carrier, Cathay Dragon, lost around $385 million last year. Now, the reasons being you've got cheaper airfares, uh, you've got a, a drop in the number of people travelling business class. As well as that, you've got an increase in the number of Chinese state-owned airlines and competition from the Middle Eastern carriers. Uh, on top of that, the company had to pay top price for fuel after failing to anticipate a big drop in oil prices. Now, Cathay Pacific is the largest international carrier based in Hong Kong, but the competition over the last 20 years since the, the handover has played havoc uh, with the business. This cost-cutting plan announced by management aims to save around $500 million over three years and deliver what it says will be a leaner, better management structure. Now, senior and middle management will be the main target, and those jobs or the first round of jobs are expected to go as early as this week. And the